I just wanted to go over all of um, Captain Marvel's training with you. So um, when I was looking at what we worked on, I was like, oh, I didn't teach her a whole bunch of different things. And that's because the main thing I was focused on was getting her out um, in public settings, going on walks so we could work on not pulling, also working on the not being reactive to things that might be scary, right? So the bicycles, those sort of things, um, scooters, all of that. So a lot of what we worked on was just really getting those foundation behaviors, but being able to practice them out on the street or inside of a pet store or, you know, just anywhere. So we really focused on watch me and that's eye contact. So doing your watch me, sit down, leave it, coming when called, going into the side, and then just a lot of walking. And so I know the not jumping is something she's working on too, but part of that is giving feedback on what we do like. So I'm gonna be asking her to sit for all kinds of stuff, and then she gets affection, and toys, she gets to go out into the yard she wants to go into. Um, so we're, we really start reinforcing those other behaviors so that the jumping goes away. And if she did jump, I'm going to turn away and ignore it. I'm not going to pet her. I'm not going to acknowledge her. Um, I'm really going to ignore it. And then again, I'm going to be asking for a sit. And if she sits, that's what's going to get my attention. Okay. So coming out of the crate, that might be a time that's a little tough. So you might have a treat with you. Maybe put the treat on her nose and just lead her right outside. Um, also, I know you mentioned about her being overly excited when you came home. So one thing you might do is um, when you first get home, don't greet her right away. If you're able to keep her behind a barrier, uh, come in, put your stuff down, maybe go to the bathroom and then greet her and, you know, ask her to sit before you greet her. So we can talk about um, all of this in person a little bit more and go into details. But in this video, I'm going to run through some of the behaviors we've been working on. And some of them might be the same as what you've done. So if my hand cue is a little different than your hand cue, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, she could definitely, you know, pick up on whatever we need her to. So she is, uh, my cat, I just kicked my cat out of this room. So Salem is on the other side of the door. And she really would like to say hi to Salem. So let me see if I can get her attention and we will get started. So Marvel, Marvel, come. Yes. So we'll start right there. One of the things when I am calling Marvel to come, um, I'm not just going to stand still. I'm going to back up and move away. So I might do my hand like this as a like come here gesture um, and then backing up. The backing up will actually get her to follow me. So when I'm calling, I'm not static, right? I'm definitely moving where I want her to go because I want to pull her in with, you know, with my body. If I just stand there and say, come, it's not very inviting. Uh-uh, Marvel. Sorry, she's going. Go into the litter box. All right, so let's go ahead and go through. So, Marvel, watch me. Yes. So, watch me, super simple, uh, but it's one that I used a ton, okay? So, we can think if you were out on the street and there's a bicycler coming, right? I might go, oh, I see that bike. So, I'm immediately going to ask for the watch me and then reward her for keeping her eyes on me because we know Marvel and if she kept staring at that uh, bicycle, she's probably gonna go try to run, uh, maybe run up to it, maybe bark, maybe hide, but I wanna keep her focus on me. Now, one of the things we can do is it is okay for her to glance at the bicycle and then glance back at us and we wanna reward that behavior too because uh, we want her to learn that, you know what, it's really good to to look at the scary thing, just don't stay, you know, like stuck there. Um, if I had her out and my neighbors were out, I would have her at my side. Good girl. And I would be just rewarding her right here while she's looking. Um, if she was excited to go see them, I would send her over to go say hi and then call her back to me. So um, just doing all that, I'm going to have her checking in. So again, let's watch me. Yes. If you're out in public, I want you to be asking for the watch me a lot, okay? Um, again, it's okay for her to look at something, but if you saw her getting overwhelmed, move away, ask for the watch me. If she maybe didn't want to take the treat because she's a little overwhelmed, 
You could toss the treat on the ground and let her go find it and then call her back in. Okay, so then we have sit, down. Do we know she's good at all that? Watch me. Marvel, watch me. Yes, good girl. Good. We've been working on stand a little bit. Um, that one you may need to lure, but the hanky for stand is pulling this way, like from her body to your body. So, Marvel, good girl. Marvel, sit. Stand. Oh no, stand. Good. So she had a hard time on that one, so I made little kissy noises, doing things to try to get her attention. Marvel, come. My cat is sitting right on the other side of the door. It's, it's a glass door, so we can see him. Yes, you like Salem, don't you? Okay, so I'm going to do one with the treat in my hand and lure her. Marvel, stand. Yes. That's what we're looking for. Obviously, the goal is to not have a cookie in our hand, but um, if she needs help right now, that's okay. But that's not one we've spent a ton of time on. Watch me. Stand. She's like, oh, I'm back to sit. Yes. So she does it well with the treat. We'll keep building it up. So the reason we like a stand is so that she can go from sit to stand, from down to stand. It gives a third behavior in there for us to work on because a lot of times what happens is we do sit and then down, sit and down. And so we start to say sit and our dogs go, oh, okay, I'll lay down because that's the next thing. So when we add in the stand, it makes their brains really stop and focus on what we're asking, right? Because we're not always going to say sit to down. Sometimes we'll do a sit and watch me. Sometimes we'll do a sit and stand. Sometimes, you know, just mix it up is the idea. So, okay, Marvel, watch me. Good girl, that's a good girl. Down. Good girl. Oh, it is good. Marble, watch me. I'm gonna go ahead and get the treat, put it in my hand. Stand. Yes. Good. Let's see if she can do a down from stand. Oh, stand. Good girl. Down. Oh, excellent. Watch me. Watch me. 